And welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the challenge. For me, of course, I've just kind of kept going with all of this stuff. So we're going pretty well. Going pretty well. I'm pretty happy with where we are and where we're going. I need to check out what materials I need for my fashions, though. 12 plates, 6 rod. Alright. So we're going to need a lot more um, plate then. Let's get some plate happening. And six rod is what we need for that. But we're going to go for the helmet first. Come on, helmet. Bam, bam, helmet done. Ah, and we've got more bad guys in this cave. These guys are really starting to shit me off. I might need to get out of this cave pretty soon, or at least block these guys off, because they are just painful and annoying right now. And I need to see if there's any more metal ore around here, because if there is, we'll harvest this stuff out, and then we'll just block this place off, because they're just painful. I don't really want to be continuously being attacked by skeletons or anything like that. Now, from the last game as well, if you guys were watching the last one, uh, you should have seen that a lot of people went for the ranged weapons, so I'm actually going to do something pretty similar this time. I think we're going to go... See if we can get some ranged weapons happening. Alright, so I'm going to throw in a few more plate together. We don't have enough ore for the plate right now. Let's grab some more ore out of the ceiling here. So once we've got enough plate together, we can then continue on. Oh man, these things are spawning way too damn quickly. Let's kill this guy off. Good thing I saw him though before he managed to do any damage to me. So I've got 90 stone here. I'm going to block off this passageway. And he's respawned already. What are you doing? Get out of my life. Yeah, we're blocking this place off. Because this is just annoying right now. Alright, here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. There we go. Alright, so all sealed away. Get those final couple of plates going for this thing. See if I can go down here and find a little bit more frost steel, because I kind of want to do frost steel in my fashions, even though I've said it doesn't make any difference. It's just going to be cool to have a bit of frost steel kind of twisted around into the fashions as well. Make something kind of interesting to look at, because I've been kind of lucky here, so we might as well do that. And then once we've got this fashion up and running, I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, I need to go upstairs anyway and get some more leather. Some kind. Here we go. Are we on and off? 13. Perfect. Alright, let's go back upstairs. Bam, bam, bam. Alright, here we go. So, 12 plates. Good. Let's go. For that, we need... Six rods. Okay, so we're going to need to get some more rods going. So, more of the frost steel from down in here somewhere. And that was pretty stupid. I just took fall damage. Fall damage is not something you want to be taking while you're in a challenge like this. Here we go. Got a little bit more frost steel here. Should be getting pretty close now. Got a fair amount out of this little tunnel. Oh god, and there's a yeti. A yeti chieftain, in fact. We really don't want to mess with him too much because it's not going to drop anything we want. And he's going to hit ridiculously hard. There is some frost steel in the side here, though, so we're going to take that. And just keep an eye on that guy. If he makes any moves towards us, we're going to run pretty quickly. He seems to be trapped. Perfect. Stay there. Although, I shouldn't really take my eye off him, because he is going to attack me from behind if I do that. So, let's get out of the way. 
Do we have enough frost steel? No, we don't. We've only got nine frost steel. All right, we might need to pack it up in here. How much iron do we have? We don't have any iron left, do we? No, we need the six rods. Six rods. Okay, we're going to need to go back down in here. Grab up that last little bit of iron we need. Because just in case I can't get the frost steel I need or want, I want to make sure I can get this Falc up and running. How much food do we have? We've got a little bit of food, so we're going to cook that food. Come here, cook the food. Lamb meat, not the greatest, but it will do. Raw wolf as well, perfect. All right, let's eat some wolf up. Oh man, we don't have our armor on. Why is that? All right, there we go. Armor on. 12 plate, 4 rod. All right. I needed to have been paying more, more care to my resources situation during this one. I'm nearly there on iron, I think. Come on, we need 24 iron to get this guy going, to get the rods we need for this fashion. Of course, we could also run through the cragstone, which is right there. And by run through, I do literally mean run. I'm not going to attack anything or any of that stuff. I would literally just bustle straight on past everything. It was around 20. 20. Let's go for 24. Come on. Here we go. Alright, 24. Perfect. Okay. Back up to the forges, get this stuff crafted, and then we're going to get out of here. One. Two. Let's take the anvil with us. Get ourselves set up to keep moving. Okay, so might even eat that little bit of food that we've got left over and do up a campfire to campfire campfire. All right, need to do a time track as well while this campfire is going. Oh wow, we've got 10 minutes left. All right. Okay, so, plans, people, plans, plans, plans. We're going to head to the surface, kill something off, see if we can get some more leather. Once we've got the leather, we're going to be building the falcs and running directly for the end of uh, the thing up here. This is a rabbit. Is he going to drop leather? Let's hope so. Perfect. Please tell me that's a leather I've already had. Aha, Frost Wolf. If this guy drops leather, this would be the one that we need. No, he didn't. He dropped food. This is a goat. Let's try and kill the goat. Come on. Die, goat. We got a goat horn. That's not what we wanted either. Alright, rabbit. Time to meet your doom. Oh, man. I'm struggling on the leather front, aren't I? That's meat. We don't want the meat. Right, leather. Perfect. Okay, so we need to get ourselves hidden away from this cold. I'm actually going to go out towards the front of here. Because if we can be in the front of this thing and not take any damage, we're going to be perfectly set and ready to go for charging straight on through this thing and collecting up some more materials. So that would be perfect. Wow, okay, this is not good. That was a long fall and quite a lot of damage taken. Alright, so here we are at the front. I'm going to get my blocks on my hotbar. I'm going to block this place off so that we can craft in here. Crafty, crafty, crafty. All right. Block, block, block. Okay, here we go. So what have we got around us? Not too much. Not anything of any importance anyway. So, forge. Anvil. 
Let's throw this guy up here. All right. So strap, white strap, leather, white leather. All right. Oh, and we've got the fire as well that we can use. We also want to make up that food, get that going. I'll be on a little bit more health to go charging down on through this thing. I'm not too optimistic about my chances of making it through, but I think it's worth a shot. We are kind of woefully behind on materials at the moment, so charging straight on through this thing is going to be a win if we can get some good stuff out of it. Alright, so we are almost there on a falchion. Oh, we are there on a falchion. Wow, I miscalculated what I needed for this falchion, which is a bit of a pain because we could have had this earlier. No! <laughs> oh well. Let's get this thing going. Alright, so while that is going, we're actually going to do a foolhardy thing. Eat up a bit of food, sit at a campfire, and see if we can find the first chest in here. Alright, and if we take up a little bit of health, grab our sword and board out, and see if we can find a chest in amongst this lot. I have no question that we'll be able to find a chest, I just don't know if we're going to be able to survive all the way through to the chest. Should make some more torches in a second too, because this place is looking like it's going to be a dark one. Alright, so we've got skeletons. Pain in my ass. Although, we've got some basic skeletons in here too. That's a good thing. Didn't want a hard one where we had lots of non-skeletons. Uh, lots of non-basic skeletons like that guy. Because those are just annoying, to be perfectly honest. Alright, let's go down. There's no chests up there. Alright, here we go. This is going to be our first run at getting a few chests. It's also going to be our first run at drawing a lot of attention. So, let's hope this works. Alright, chest, what do you got? Nothing good, but we'll take everything. Take all that too. Another chest somewhere, there it is. Alright, this is not going well. These chests are pretty bogus right now. Alright, here we go. There's a big chest. This is, go this is what we want. This has hopefully got some metal in it for us. We need is a little bit of frost here, would be great. Come on, <laughs> we got a recipe and nothing else. What is this? This is terrible, terrible run through. Alright, let's get out of here. Gonna have to come back, I think, because that was pretty woeful, to be perfectly honest. Alright, up we go, up we go, up we go. How much time have we got left? Five minutes left. Wow, we are running out of time, and we have not got anywhere near enough materials from this little adventure as what we needed. We do have a fashion though. That's a good start. So, what have we got? We've got five of that, nine of that. We've got, oh, this is not anywhere near where it needs to be right now. Oof, okay. Anyway, we need to get this fashion in our hot bar. What can we make? What can we make? What should we make, I guess, is the next question. I think we need to pack everything here up and head further on into this place. We're going to need to destroy some stuff because we are completely full of crap right now. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that for now. We don't need... Let's loan that guy just because we can. And... We don't need that. Let's destroy that. Take these guys and head further down into this adventure. If we can get a few more chests, we might actually be okay. I'm hoping we can get enough metal to make up a ranged weapon. Let's just take out some stuff around here as well so we can collect some metal on the way through. What I'm going to do is put my falchion in this slot too. Did I put that five minute warning? Yes, it did. 
Alright, let's grab some metal on the way through. Ba -ba -bam. Oh, there's lots of metal in the floor here. This is going to take forever, though. We don't really have all that much time. Yeah, this is not going to be fast enough. Let's keep going. What we need is a really good grab out of a chest. Out of a really good chest. Nope. Keep moving. I'm just going to run this now. Perfect. More big chests. Let's hope like we've, like hell we've got some good stuff in these. Give me metal. Yes. Oh, this is going really well. I don't have space for the helmet, but I've got space for that. Oh, this is a waste of my time, isn't it? Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, perfect. So now we're kind of in behind here. Let's see if we can carve out a little bit of space and put some stuff down. Let's see what we can now make with all of our ill-gotten gains. Okay, come on. Alright, that guy's got to go in there. Get out of Forge. Forge has got to go. Ah, the forge can't go in there. What have I done? Mess this up somehow. Alright, the forge will be able to go in there now. Forge to the back. Alright. That's not, hand that's not handcrafting. Okay, so we can make another falc. That's not what we want, though. We want. So we've got 31 metal plate. We need two more of those, and we've got four rod, and we've got... Okay, so, let's break down. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? We need... Going for the axe is what I want. So, two weight. Right, cool. Let's go into the forge. I'm going to make up some frostier weight. I'm going to change out of this, get rid of that guy. Hopefully we have time to make this. We're going to push really quite close to the edge on this one. Yeah, I've got a minute left. How long does it take to make this guy is the next question. Let's preload everything. Four. Cross steel. Let's play. Minute 30. No, it's not going to finish in time. We've only got a minute left. Oh, this is not good. Oh, damn. So close to having this done, and it is not going to get done. Oh, that's a pain. Alright, well, with the 46 seconds I've got left, I am going to go and explore. There's nothing else I can do right now. Let's run out of here. There was a chest somewhere back along here that we missed. There it is. And there's a couple of chests back here further too that we missed. Damn. It's so painful that we don't have time to get that thing out. Oh, we've got a club. Let's use the club. This is going to be hilarious. Nine seconds. Six seconds, five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Yep, time up. Oh my god. Yay. I got my halberd. That's all that matters. <laughs> Alright, so everybody, HUD's off, and then you're going to jump up your nearest spring trap when I say go, and it's time to start. So, three, two, one, go! Okay, so do I use the club, or do I Hold get on. out okay, there we go. the falcon shield? I think I'm going to go to the falcon shield. 
Oh, and the blue one is the one that doesn't have it up. Way up to the upstairs. Oh, I'm going to have to go out. And then... Alright, let's, let's do this. Going out and up, I reckon, is the best and safest way. Last time we went along and it didn't work out so well for us. Alright, here we go. Oh, this is going well so far. Better than expected. Oh, I got hit. How did I get hit? Alright, uh, well, at least we survived longer than we did last time. That's a good start. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Swap it up a little bit, shall we? Haha! <laughs> let's take this guy on. Run! Shit, I don't know where I am on my hotbar. Alright, now I know where I am on my hotbar. Perfect, okay, we're doing better last than last time, but we don't have any food, so this is going to be a major disadvantage to us. Alright, let's get back upside, upstairs. We've kind of stuck around in this corner a little bit too long, I feel. But... It's going to be the best. Oh, wow, somebody's got a bow out. What is that? Oh, damn. Uh-oh. I am now low on health, and there is nothing I can do about it. I'm just going to have to stay out of the way for a little while. Let's head into the red building. And stay out of the way of these people. Because I heard that I heard that sound. That is not a good sound. That is not a happy sound at all. Oh, everybody seems to be inside already. What what is going on? Oh man, this person's got meat. And I'm out. Alright, let's go back into F12 mode and see who's left. Seems to be a couple of people left in the arena, which is a good start, good sign, but I'm not the first one out. Yay, I wasn't the first one out. That makes me happy. I was a sad face. I'm wondering who's the last person. There's a couple of people left in. I just didn't have any food, so I got down to low health and I knew that I was I was a goner. Nice. Thank you. Alright, so Onyx is out. So is that you blessed with the, the pink sheep? The, the pink sheep. Oh, that's your symbol. I have dual daggers. Oh, yes. Yes, that's blessed. Oh, nice. Yeah, you got me because you had food and I didn't. Oh, yeah, I worked on getting food. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, oh man. Nice. nice. So, Machina Dragon has... Is that Machina? Yeah? Machina Dragon. Yes. Machina Dragon, yes. Machina Dragon has won has won the second ever Shop Rock Challenge. Shop Rock Survival Challenge, sorry. Well done! Oh, yay. Awesome work. And right, everybody, thank you for joining us on this Shop Rock Survival Challenge. Well done to Machina Dragon, who has won this week's challenge. Very, very well done. Next week, we will be attempting to play teams for this to see how all of that goes. So, I'll see you then.